I've got some zizzing going on here. <laughs> oh, sorry, I think it was a flag. Sorry, my bad. There you go. Stephen McHale. <laughs> you Yay. have 2.2 million followers on TikTok. 51.7 million likes. I don't know how many views. How, how many views would that rack up? Oh, I don't know. It's, it's something like 400 million, 500 million, something <laughs> around that ballpark figure, which is like mad to me. It's really, it's insane. I don't know. I never thought I'd be able to kind of get that. But not only that, you also have a YouTube channel. So you are yes. the best TikToker I know to ask about the differences between TikTok and YouTube. Before we get into any of that though, what is your favourite own TikTok video on your channel? Oh, that's the hard one. Yeah, if you ask a TikToker this, this is hard. I think, I think it's the one where I've done Miss Trunchbull. I've done Matilda and I pretended to be Miss Trunchbull. Um, and I got like, it, it done really, really well. I think that's my favourite one because I think that really encompasses like my favourite childhood movie. It's acting, it's fun, people really resonated with it. Um, so I like dressed up like, like Trunchbull, had like my hair slipped back and had to my suit on, my suit on, my suit jacket on with like a belt and like these shorts and I was and I, pre and I pretended to be the scene where she chucks Amanda Fripp over the fence just before that and um, so <laughs> I reenacted that scene of Miss Transport and Amanda Fripp, the little girl, so it was very, it was, I don't know what it was, it was one of those things that I was like, I'm just going to film that today and we're going to learn the lines and then film it and do it in like my way and it done, it done really well, I was really proud of it um, but there's a lot of videos that I'm proud of and it's really hard for me to pick one but I think that one really that was another thing people knew me for at the end of last year they were like oh you don't like you like Miss Transport and I'm like eh, I am yes <laughs> and what's your video with the most views um, it's a lip challenge um, it's got like I think it's got like 34 million views or something which is madness it's got like 30 odd million views and it's basically me this is how this is how the tiktok al algorithm works and how anyone can get big on it it was me putting like three like lipsticks liquid lips and i was going i put one strip there one strip here one strip and i just went like this and it was to, to the song and it was madness it was like the least effort you could put into a video and it, it done like got the most views and everyone knew me as the the boy like oh you're the guy that does lip challenges <laughs> and i was like yeah no and it's like even now we'd repost it like every six months and it'd still get like 10 million views and i'm like why why does this like why do people love this but i think it's aesthetically like people love to watch all those kind of makeup y stuff did I detect a slight eye roll when you gave that answer? A, a lip sync video yeah. seen as perhaps a lesser art form? And the worst thing was, it wasn't even lip sync. It was me literally just going to, to like smudge the lips, the, the lipstick, to make it look like I had like three colours of lips. So it wasn't even lip sync, so it's like even worse. But I think in the realm of lip syncing, so the app used to be called Musical.ly, um, which, you know, we, we don't call it anymore. And that, that, that traditionally was a lip syncing app. That's how it was, that's how it got its notoriety. However, I kind of done original comedy back then and done, I done lip syncs as well, but I done original comedy and like dancing and like meme style content. But I think now, although people that do lip sync still do very well and they can just sit in front of the camera and lip sync a song and get 10 million views, I'm not jealous. Um, but no, I think that now there's a higher standard now. Now it's a, a platform with, you, oh, you, there's, there's so much in there. And I think lip sync is maybe seen as something that's not something like they want to push. Like it's a lip syncing app because it's not now. It used to be, but now it's more like, you know, if you want to really be like big on the platform and really want to be there for a long longevity, you've got to kind of, you've got to be able to reinvent yourself, I think. And you have a YouTube channel and a TikTok channel. Yes. Why is TikTok better than YouTube? So I think TikTok's better than YouTube because one, it's like, it's shorter media, so it's short form media, whereas, you know, YouTube's long form media, traditionally. Um, I think with TikTok, it's, it's easy to get involved in videos or see trends that you are, um, you can relate to that you can um, that you feel like you want to do. The thing about YouTube is that you watch a video and you're like, oh, that's great, and they make me laugh, it's fun, and you think, oh, I'd love to do YouTube. However, then you have to get a camera, lights, edit, and it's really hard to be a YouTuber. It's really, really hard. It's the, the hardest platform to gain followers on. But it's TikTok. You can watch something and you can think to yourself, I know I can do that better, or if not, I can have just as much as fun as that person, and you just need to set up your camera. So the the, the difference between making the making the content is way on the other spectrum. YouTube's harder, TikTok's very easy. You can upload 10 videos in the space of, t you know, half an hour on, on TikTok and get, 
you know, triple the views you would if you'd done it on YouTube. So I think the algorithm favours better to people because it has like a, a broader spectrum of content that it likes to put on the For You page. Um, so it gives people a better chance to be seen, to have fun, to in uh, interact with other people. Um, I like YouTube. I used to, I've not made videos on that in a while, um, but I was doing YouTube once I, when I was doing TikTok, like a few years ago, so I was doing both side by side, and I felt like you, you, TikTok was just so much easier. It was just, it was, it's a platform where um, you have to really be authentic for people to really like, to really, to really grow on it, whereas YouTube, you have to really have a, a some sort of, not a facade, but you have to have a really different kind of push yourself like 110 percent with TikTok and maybe not as much i've got some zizzing going on here <laughs> so i think it was a fly sorry my bad there you go that, that, do you know what, that's, that's a long-winded answer no no <laughs> stephen that is so fascinating because i hadn't thought that the actual you know production technique would actually mm -hmm. have such a big effect on the what what you share and how you express yourself so i have been able to yeah. just get straight online quicker means that you put out something a bit more authentic. I hadn't really thought of it like that. Yeah, I think that's um, it's really, it's, it's a really big um, pull factor for when someone who, who's started out on social media, who, um, who wants to kind of be big. And please hit the subscribe button below if you want to see more great British YouTubers. There's a playlist and a podcast. All the links are in the description below. I'm Neil Mossy and I'll see you on the very next Great British YouTubers.